What's up, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Kate Bush. And we're going back to her 1982 album, The Dreaming. As insane of an experience as any album I've been going through on these various deep dives. Uh, the last couple tracks in particular, the songwriting, the storytelling, um, the degree to which, you know, different instruments and different elements uh, was brought in in the composition. Um, you know, I was already feeling it going through the first few albums that, wow, this is a really incredible and like eccentric artist, obviously trying to stake out her own musical and lyrical territory in a way that few artists, I think, even consider, never mind actually achieve. And we're already talking about a sort of type of person who is more creative and expressive than your average Joe. Um, but even among that group of people, I feel like she's reached a level of creativity and expression um, not often seen. But this album has really answered the question definitively with a resounding no. There really is no one else like her. Um, just an absolutely creative genius, like a, a brilliant, theatrical, artistic, expressive person. So, um, yeah, I've become a huge fan and I truly am beginning to understand, perhaps with this album more than anything so far, um, the significance of her musical output and how sort of um, on her own she is in that regard. So, um, yeah, I'll stop waxing poetic about Kate, but um, like I said, I'm really happy that I've been able to go on this journey. Big shout out to all the people who've been supporting it and commenting and help me, helping me understand the tunes. Big shout out to Seb for making this possible in the first place. Um, and yeah, the next tune on The Dreaming is All the Love. Obviously, love can mean different things. It can be romantic, it can be familial, it could be platonic, it could be, you know, social or cultural on a larger level. Um, but what really stands out to me with the nature of the title is the suggestion of quantity or volume. Um, it's not just some of the love, it's not the love some of the time, but it is all the love. Now still, you know, to whom that is directed or in which way it is heading, um, or what the relevance it of, or what the relevance of it is, uh, yeah, let's just forget that sentence. But yeah, what the relevance is seems um, unclear, but ultimately um, I am interested by the idea of referencing the quantity of love in the title. So let's find out. And again, surely there will be all sorts of narrative and visual aspects which would not be able, or which I would not be able to detect in the first place, but let's find out. This is Kate Bush, the tune is All the Love, and it's from her 1982 album, The Dreaming.
Yeah, it's interesting. It feels like the all the love, like all the love you could have given or you should have given, all the love we maybe could have had. Um, it felt like a lament. Um, the sort of tone of the tune, as I said, it felt like kind of dystopian jazz, but then it would slide into those, again, almost like religious sort of choir kind of singing um, and the way her voice would hang up there, like, you know, um, one of those like um, youth choir like singers that can go super, super high. Um, so yeah, ultimately an interesting tune sonically even before I try to unpack um, the lyrics. Again, I heard the, the lines better in that one than I do in some other songs of hers. Um, which is, it's interesting. At first I could barely understand what she was saying. And then in the next like album or two after that it felt like, okay, maybe I'm starting to hear this a little bit better. But it has still been very much hit or miss, um, tune to tune. Um, but yeah, it felt like that one was about a lament. It was about like a regret, a normative, like retrospective lament that like what should have happened or what could have happened, what was possible, um, but what did not accrue. Um, so yeah, let me know if I'm off base there. I'm sure I'm in, at least missing some layers and some elements. Um, but ultimately, like I said, I enjoy the juxtaposition of the sort of like futuristic dystopian jazz mixed with this very sort of um, almost sacred sounding um, vocal parts, so um, which are, it kind of had like a deep ambient to it or ambience to it. So um, really cool tune once again. Luca agrees. Do let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Peace.